Good everyone, welcome to this video. Today we have another episode in the Talisman series, and unfortunately, it's another one where Harry's been slipping Gaijin 20 bucks under the table, I'm fairly certain. This is the Anglesky, I think that's how you pronounce it, AR2. This is essentially a beefed up SB2M with a few differences. You can actually tell the Tupolev SB by just looking at it, like, it's a very similar airframe, but of course, the engines are slightly different. The nose is different for a bit more speed, and yeah, it's it's a little bit different, and we obviously do lose the twin 762, which I miss that, um, but we do gain the, well, basically the old um, SB2M flight model. Now, for those that are not, shall we say, more than the Greybeards, like me, Harry, and the like, you won't remember that, because you wasn't around then. Essentially, the SB2M and this flew like fat zeros. They were incredibly maneuverable. Uh, the front gunner, back when AI gunners actually did something, um, was incredibly good. And the front turret alone would get you three to four kills on average if you just maneuvered it in the right way. Unfortunately, the SB2Ms took a huge nerf, and for some reason, they didn't nerf this which i mean to be fair this thing's never been great anyway but yeah this plane still kind of has the old flight model not fully it has had a couple of changes but we'll get into that once we get into the match so of course the engines are very similar it's just the nacelles are a bit more aerodynamic to increase speed of course the 762s they're the same they're just a cast machine guns you should be very familiar with those and Overall, it's just mostly changes that help the aircraft out. There is, of course, air brakes, which do help the aircraft out as well. So these could come in handy if we need to do some dive bombing. Because, well, this thing does get a bomb site, but um, we probably will just use that. We won't need these, but these are handy if you actually want to do a reversal. Because, yeah, this thing can actually do reversals. It's kind of funny. Not against everything, because, well, it's still a twin-engine bomber but you know the speed overall isn't too bad but it's just the fact that this thing is sat at 2.3 it used to be sat at 2.7 and uh yeah it's trash it's not it's not a good bomber like it, it's good for doing base bombing but that's literally all it's good for other than its maneuverability because obviously with just one gun and only 500 rounds it's not great for our bomb loads though we do have a decent selection I would love custom loadouts on this plane, but unfortunately Gaijin aren't giving us that. So we do have access to three two, well, 500 kilogram bombs, which we are going to be using. We're going to be using potentially the 6250s, depending on the map. Um, depending on the map as well, we could also use the 10 100s. And the rest of the bomb loads you can just forget about. The stock bomb load is this one here, the 6 100s, which you should be familiar with if you've already played some of the SB series. But, yeah, unfortunately this is another one of those talismans which, as I said in the intro, I'm fairly certain Harry's been slipping Gaijin 20 bucks under the table and telling them to give me his talismans. But, you know, I think he actually does have a talisman on this plane, so feel free to go ask him for a talisman series video just like me, so then he can suffer as well. Anyway, let's get in and let's get, well I would say cracking, but, uh it's an AR2. So I don't expect us to do a whole lot. We'll probably drop some bombs, maybe kill some poor sod in the climb, maybe gunship, I don't know, H6K, and then we'll figure it out as we go along, yeah? Anyway, I'll see you all in the first match. And we get into the match about 45 seconds later, which is alright, I'll take that. But uh, yeah, this is going to get interesting, I think. We'll just have to see how we go. Of course, this map means we only have to drop two bombs, depending on the BR, to kill a base, which is useful. But we're still at an AR2, so... I wouldn't be expecting Ace gameplay out of me today, because... Well, I'm actually quite sleepy, because, um... I've been rather busy doing just normal stuff, like... Life... Pokemon, um, my sibling came round during the weekend last week, uh, well, last week because I'm recording this, but, um, okay, which base has been called, before I continue, uh, 
that one's not been called, so I'm going to go for that one. <laughs> um, so anyway, as I was saying, um, I've obviously been doing that, but I do have a week off of work, which is fine and dandy. Well, I actually have about nine days off, so I'm using that to not only get some stuff done, but to just chill, really, because, like, the thing is, is that it's all well and good, me getting stuff done, but at the same time, I actually want to do other things than just play War Thunder. I know that, and that sounds ridiculous, considering, obviously, I'm playing War Thunder now, but there's more to life than just doing this, so, yeah. I kind of have to get some stuff done in terms of, like, uh, I, I'm hopefully planning to see some friends during this week off. Um, I hope to get some more Pokemon testing done and just chill really because I've been working very hard obviously as some of you know I got a job a about three nearly four months ago now at a tool business called tool station um, it's going well like it's it's going well it's just some days my brain is just like why are we dealing with this stupidity because there's, there's a lot of things that are so simple on paper that people just don't know how to do. Even with my great manager's guidance, because yeah, she's great. Um, but yeah, it's it's just not like... It, it's a lot of brain power to use, and I also need brain power for War Thunder. And uh, we're not going after that before anyone says that. I'm not dealing with a DB7 in an AR2. It's not happening. I would, however, go for that Condor. And that's very tempting. But yeah, it's going well. Like I'm enjoying the role and everything. It's obviously quite a lot to like. Still, I, I'm still kind of in the learning phase, but like, it's enough to the point where I know what I'm doing and I'm not making as many errors. And the errors that I do make, I'm guided into how to not do them again, basically. A bit like how I tutor you guys and say, learn from your mistakes, do this, that, and the other, and things like that, really. I'm going to need to get under it. A little bit more, anyway. I know we said we was going after bases, but this is literally the only target I can see that we can potentially kill. Come on, roll. Okay, no, the gunner doesn't have that much coverage. I mean, we're gonna get a kill assist? That's something out of this thing? Unless he rips his wings off and we get a kill, which I will take that. But uh, considering the swarm of friendly fighters, I don't think he's getting me a kill, that's for sure. Anyway, so, um, yeah, the roll's going well, it's just my brain is just like, why? Why are we dealing with this? But that that's just how it rolls, unfortunately. There we go, kill assist. Like I said, don't be expecting ace gameplay out of a fucking AR2. It's, it's a piece of shit. There's no sugarcoating this. But, you know. But, yeah, so we have, we have got a guy 45 chasing us, which is concerning. Um, so yeah, it's obviously, like, going well, but it's just draining the amount of brain power I have to use. So, I'm glad I've got this week off to just recuperate, rest my brain, and just, you know, take some time off just to enjoy and just chill, really. Like, see friends, spend some time, play some War Thunder on occasion, play some games that I've been catching up on in my backlog. I've been playing a lot of Sniper Elite 5 recently, which I've been enjoying. Um, which is all fine and dandy. I've recently got the Platinum Trophy on the PlayStation 4 version, because I actually got the PlayStation 4 version for 20 quid. And then on top of that, you get the PlayStation 5 version completely free. So, it it's not too bad at all, I will say. Right, so it's time to break out the bombs because we're gonna need to We're gonna need to drop some bombs. Now obviously the DB3 did call this base, so I'm only gonna drop one bomb. And then obviously we can go to the base that I actually called and then we can go from there. But yeah, this 
this plane, if you're expecting a lot of interesting gameplay, it's not happening because this thing is a sack of shit. Uh, but of course, that's what happens when Harry gives Gaijin money for my talismans, it seems. Oh, this drops in pairs. I'm very sorry, Mr. DB3. Oh, he's dead anyway, but... Excuse me, that's... That's another thing I have to do with during this week off, is hay fever. Because as the channel's grown, not many of you remember this, um, I have hay fever and it's horrible. Oh, my nose. Oh. That's the one thing I hate about the summer months, is the hay fever, I'm sure. It's not pleasant, I mean... It doesn't affect me too much, like, I've, I've not took my tablet this morning, so that, that doesn't exactly help, but... That was quite a big one. And drunk, I've done bigger sneezes, but, like, it, it's annoying. So, I'm going to drop this bomb on this base, and I'm going to head over to an enemy fighters and see if we can have some fun. Because this is boring as shit, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. This, this plane is just fucking boring. Right, bomb release. B239 up there, that's okay. Okay, it's time to get cracking. So, I'm going to cut ahead to when we can find someone to go and bully, potentially. Keyword. And I'll see you all in a few minutes. Well, welcome back. We've managed to find ourselves a nice juicy hurricane. Now, of course, we are going to use our air brakes here, because remember, the SB2M in the previous... Well, I say previous. Technically, it's the Forgotten Vehicles series, but it might as well be the previous episode, it feels like, because this thing might as well be in the Forgotten Vehicles series. Um, but yeah, that thing didn't have air brakes, and that thing compressed like a bitch the second it looked at it funny. Um, this plane does have air brakes, but... Yeah, it's not exactly... OTT is it? And there we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna call this one kill because we've gotten two assists. I'm just gonna do that because that makes sense. All right. Let's see if we can get some grand panning done with the plane that has some of the most awkward gunner coverage I've ever seen in my life. There we got that one. Nice. We're probably just gonna do this for the rest of the match. So. It's nothing, like, as I said, we're not going to get ace games, but we're second place on the fucking team in an hour two. Like, that alone is an achievement. And if that was a PlayStation trophy, that'd be a gold trophy. Get in the top three in an AR2, like, that would 100% be a gold trophy in PlayStation terms. That should be an achievement in War Thunder Steam Log or something like that. Get one place one to three in an AR two or any other crap bomber on this list. That that would actually be beneficial. But like I said, this plane is just boring. Like it, it, there's no sugarcoat in it. Like I I can't make this plane entertaining. Like I suppose the best thing I can do is roast it because um. The history of this aircraft, like, as I've mentioned, this is essentially the upgrade to the SB2M. Um, it still wasn't very good, like, it... In real life, it was intercepted quite easily, as it is in War Thunder. It's... It's better handling characteristics, whilst it was better. Didn't really change the fact that it's not going to outrun Messerschmitts anytime soon. And, um... The plane was soon... Like, the, the, I think there was only about 100 of these built, if, off the top of my head. But the fact is, is that this plane is just so dry, like... It's like the Sahara Desert. You don't go to it, and it's dry as fuck. And with this thing, you don't fly it, and it's dry as fuck. There's no sugarcoating it, really. It's... It's just not... It's not a plane that you take out to go and get kills. I mean, like I said, I'm calling two assists a kill. Just to add to this thing, really. But at the same time, it's like, why are Gaijin giving blatant crap talismans 
when these planes are just not good. Like, oh, like, I do have worse planes than this in the Talisman series coming up. I have bad tanks coming up in the Talisman series. But as a new player, would you want to fly this sack of crap? No, you freaking wouldn't. You would not want to fly this thing. It's as simple as that. It's As a new player who might get this as a talisman, you'd be better off just parking this thing for good, because it's not a good plane. It's guns, whilst they are okay. There's a lot of planes at this BR that it just beats. And, like... Well, the guns will beat quite a few of the planes in the BR, but then you've got to consider the downsides. So, yeah, there's just that really, and there's a lot of downsides for this thing. Anywho, since there's nothing really interesting going on, I will just cut back to the hangar. I'll see you all in a moment. Well, welcome back to the hangar. We did manage to sink a couple of landing craft. Well, I say sink, they're already beached, but... I'm calling it sunk, because then it sounds cooler for this plane. Yeah, if you're gonna get a talisman, like for the early Russian bombers, and you really want to just have some fun, just do me a favour and talisman any one of these three. Thank me later. And if you really want something with a bomber marker, just go for the FIAC 4. It's the most usable one out of the lot. And if you really want one of the SB family, just go for the 100. It's the first one. It's actually quite fast for its BR, unless you can not tell which one happened. And, yeah, it's probably your best bet. So, in conclusion, for this plane, just don't freaking bother. Like, this thing will get a, um, a remember in the past. Well, not, not that. Um, you're not having another video at uh, this damn thing in terms of gameplay. Um... The Shuji Talisman. There will be one on this eventually, but obviously, as I mentioned plenty of times, that won't be for a bit, because obviously we're going to get through USA, we're going to get through Germany, and then the Russians. So, you might be waiting on this plane a little bit. But anyway, I'm going to leave you all to it for today. I hope you enjoyed seeing the AR2 in action, and seeing how boring it is, and I will see you all on the next one.